Good morning, you're watching News I-24-7. Today's headlines are PM directs new Punjab CS, IG police four steps to check essential items prices, law and order. Newly appointed Chief Secretary Punjab Kamran Ali Afzal called on Prime Minister Imran Khan here on Tuesday and discussed administrative matters of the province. Chief Minister Punjab Sada Usman Buzda and the newly appointed Inspector General Koma Ig. Police Rao Sada Ali Khan also attended the meeting via video link. During the meeting, administrative matters of Punjab as well as law and order situation in the province were discussed. The Prime Minister directed the Chief Secretary to ensure effective administrative measures to check the prices of essential items in the province. He also directed IG Punjab to ensure law and order and take strict legal action against land mafia and corrupt elements. Non-serious opposition has no interest in electoral reforms. The Wad Minister for Information and Broadcasting for Udri for Wad Hugh signed Tuesday said the government was committed to introduce electronic voting machines, comma, Evans, in the next general elections to ensure free, fair and transparent polls, but the opposition showed no interest in carrying electoral reforms due to their vested interests. If free and fair elections are held in Pakistan, the pnl n comma, Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz will never win and the politics of Sharif family will come to an end. Therefore, they have no interest in the electoral reforms, he said while addressing a news conference after a meeting of the federal cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Imran Khan. The minister said that not a single government in the past including PNL-N and Pakistan People's Parties had ever made efforts to improve the electoral system in the country, and now when they were in opposition, they were still resisting the move. He said it was unfortunate that the Pakistan Tariqi Insaf government had to deal with the most non-serious, incapable and inefficient opposition of the history of the country. Their only interest was to save the party's leadership from the ongoing accountability process, they added. The Wad said they had never given any viewpoint on the ongoing Afghanistan situation or the issue of refugees looming large over the country, regretting that the party of Motama Shawi Benzi Bhutto was being run by political clowns. They said the government made every effort to persuade the opposition on electoral reforms, but unfortunately, the opposition had developed a habit of rejecting the government drafts for reforms without even reading its single word. They even did not bother to give their own proposals for electoral reforms, he added. President for Enhanced Online Learning to Save Cost, Promote Higher Education President Dr. Arif Alvi Tuesday urged the universities to increase the proportion of online education as it was cost-effective and would also help the students get easy access to higher education. The president, during a briefing on RIFA International University Komaru, Islamabad, at Iwan Sod, said that the education institutes needed to rethink their vision and focus on getting an intellectual edge to meet the challenges of the fast-changing world. The meeting was attended by Vice-Chancellor RIU, Professor Dr. Anis Omad, Executive Director RIU, Asat Allah Khan, Registrar RIU, Brigadier Koma R, Engineer Salimon Khan, and senior officials from the Ministry of Federal Education and Professional Training, and Higher Education Commission Koma Hek. Vice-Chancellor RIU briefed the President about the achievements and role of his university, in the promotion of education in the country. Highlighting the importance of information technology, the President said that the universities needed to focus on the requirements of the Fourth Industrial Revolution and research and development activities enabling Pakistan to join the ranks of technologically advanced countries. He added that besides academic achievements, universities should also focus on ethical studies and the character building of students. The President also appreciated HEC's policy of providing a waiver to differently abled students in tuition fees, hostel fees, and utility fees. He expressed the hope that it would encourage them to get higher education. He also underscored the need to develop academia industry linkages and collaborations with international universities that would help in the promotion of quality education. 
the president appreciated the performance of the university, which had played a significant role in the promotion of education. World to pay, heavy price for ignoring Indian destabilizing policies, Dr. Muid National Security Advisor Commons of Dr. Muid Yusuf on Tuesday said the world would pay a heavy price if it continued to ignore India's destabilizing policies, where its consequences were to go well beyond the region. The National Security Advisor took to the social networking site of Twitter to slam the so-called Indian media orchestrating false news and disinformation against Pakistan. Dr. Muid on his official handle wrote, it is not a surprise that Modi's fascist regime's fake news industry has been caught peddling lies yet again. The NSA shared two screenshots in his tweet comprising of UK Defence Journal and BBC News, debunking the Indian news channel Times, now that broadcast a Wales-based video clip of a United States F-15 aircraft as a full-fledged Pakistani invasion of Afghanistan. The fake news industry, he said, set up and patronized by Gov of India, was one critical reason for the world being duped into blaming Pakistan rather than looking at internal failures in Afghanistan, and India's role in perpetrating terrorism in Pakistan. Neighboring counties funds to discuss Afghan situation in virtual meeting at the invitation of Pakistan, foreign ministers meeting on the Afghan issue among the neighboring countries of Afghanistan will be held in virtual format on Wednesday. Foreign Minister Makhdoom Shah Mahmood Murashi will chair the meeting, to be attended by China, Iran, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan, Foreign Office said in a statement issued here on Tuesday. The meeting will review the evolving situation in Afghanistan to address common challenges, and realize emerging opportunities to ensure regional stability and prosperity. It will provide an opportunity to neighbors of Afghanistan to work together for shared objective of a peaceful and stable Afghanistan, which was essential to forge strong economic linkages and realize connectivity agenda. The meeting will build upon the discussions, held at the Special Representatives slash Envoys level, on 5th of September, 2021. The neighbors of Afghanistan have a vital stake in the stability of the country, a peaceful, stable, united, Sovereign and prosperous Afghanistan will contribute towards transit trade, people-to-people -people exchanges and security in the region. EIA uplifts 5.9 million covered 19 vaccine doses. From China to Pakistan Pakistan International Airlines Komapaya continues to uplift covered 19 vaccines from China to Pakistan as its two special cargo flights transported a new batch of 5.9 million doses of vaccines from Beijing Capital International Airport to Islamabad. Special cargo flights PK-6852 and PK-6853 took off from Beijing Capital Airport for Islamabad on Monday and Tuesday, and transported 5.9 million doses, Kadibuk Sangi, PIA country manager for China told APP here on Tuesday. On August 29th, the national flag carriers airlifted around 12 million doses of anti-COVID-19 vaccines through its for special cargo flights. The PIA special flights PK-6852, PK-6853, PK-6854, and PK-6856 transported 12 million doses of Sinovac vaccine procured from China for vaccination of people under government's ongoing prevention and control drive against COVID-19 pandemic. He added. He said that under able leadership of its chief executive officer, Arshad Malik, the national flag carrier has so far airlifted over 63 million doses of anti-COVID-19 vaccine through 49 special flights. It is worth mentioning that the government under its mass vaccination drive has set a target to vaccinate 75 million population by end of 2021. Chinese vaccines namely Sinopharm, Sinovac and Canzino besides other vaccines, are being used in the mass vaccination drive. The health authorities launched the nationwide vaccination drive with around a million doses of Sinopharm vaccine donated by China, starting with older people and frontline healthcare workers, in March this year. The drive began with a focus on the oldest people in the community, 
generally over the age of 80 but now the vaccine is being administered to the people aged over 18 years. Islamabad received the first COVID-19 vaccine consignment. After a military aircraft transported it from Beijing on February 1st, this year. Economy moving towards inclusive, sustainable growth. Tarin Federal Minister for Finance and Revenue, Shorka Tarin Monday said the prudent policies adopted by the present government had stimulated economic recovery amid COVID-19 pandemic. Economy is heading in the right direction. The enhanced revenue collection along with improved ratings, comma, business confidence index, and by international credit rating agencies, indicate that economy has gained momentum and is geared towards an inclusive and sustainable economic growth, he said while presiding over a meeting to review the trade balance situation here at the Finance Division. Federal Minister for Economic Affairs Division Omar Ayyub Khan, Commerce, Information Technology, Finance Division Secretaries, Governor State Bank of Pakistan Dr. Reza Bakaya, Board of Investment Executive Director General and other senior officers participated in the meeting. Advisor for Commerce, Abe Jalrezek Dol participated through a video link. The Commerce Secretary briefed the participants about the trade balance situation over the last two months. Considering the expansion in economic activity, import of one-time items like vaccine, for COVID-19 as well as increased demand, for raw materials had resulted in increasing imports during July and August, 2021. The finance minister said economy was in a state of growth. As economy registered a growth rate of 4% during fiscal year, 2021, there was an increased demand for imports. As long as trade deficit was within a sustainable level, it would stimulate economic recovery, he added. He stressed upon the Ministry of Commerce to conduct sensitivity analysis and build scenarios for effective forecasting both in imports as well as exports for each month of the year. Pakistan to make made an appearance at United States Open 9 Ball Pork Chip 2000 and 21 Pakistan's 2010 Asian Games bronze medalist and ace-cuist Shoram. Chanjizi was currently the only player from Pakistan to feature in the United States Open 9 Ball Pool Championship to take place in Harris Resort, Atlantic City, USA from September 13 to 18. The United States Open 9 Ball Pool Championship was the biggest event in 9 Ball Pool in the world. As many as 256 players take part in the event, which, for the first time, would feature a Pakistani player. Besides all the prominent pool players of the world, World professional snooker champion Judd Trump has also confirmed his entry and would make his nine ball pool debut in this event. Shoram was currently the only player from Pakistan pursuing eight ball pool and nine ball pool along with snooker. Shoram has won many laurels for Pakistan including a bronze medal each in Asian Games snooker team event, China, 2010, Asian Team Snooker Championship, Iran, 2015 and World Team Snooker Championship, Pakistan 2015. Shoram, who was the national ranking champion in 2007 and 2008, has also been making arrangements in his personal capacity to participate in 8-ball pool and 9-ball pool international events. His prominent performances include, runner-up, All-Arab 9-ball pool championship, 2008, Kuwait and quarter finalist, United States Open Chinese 8 Ball Pool Championship, 2018, USA. Shoram was working with the National University of Sciences and Technology Commonust, Islamabad, as the Assistant Director of Sports. The Institute has consistently supported Shoram in his national and international participation. The amount of support and respect I have received from NUST is extraordinary. Although primarily an academic institution, it offers full support to any student or staff participating in sports at national and international levels. Thanks for watching News I 24 7. For more news, visit our website on www.newsi247.tv or follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook.